Alright guys, so we wanted to do a quick video of how to set up heat cable for your vision racks. Each rack is a little different, so I'll go over how we do it here. So this rack here that we're looking at is a V35 rack. Holds 22 35 quart tubs. And how we set up the cables are we have two 32 foot Zoomed heat cables. We start down at the bottom. We go all the way across and then back and then loop it up all the way across and then back. And we keep doing that until we hit the halfway point. And then what you end up with is this that cord will only go half the length so it only covers one of these loops that we're looking at here and then I take the second cord and start anew so this shelf actually has two different heat cords that are heating that tub and then we start afresh we go to the next one up 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 what you can't see is that bottom cord that heats the bottom section of this rack goes up the side the cool end runs up the side and plugs into our thermostat and then the cold lead of the second cord actually starts right there and goes up and attaches to our thermostat and then so that's how we heat the V35 rack now this is our vision 18 rack and we heat it pretty similar it takes two 52 foot cords so we start there at the bottom you can see the the very end there on the bottom we go all the way across and then back and then loop it up we do that same pattern till we hit halfway which is right there and then that cord goes all the way up the back and attaches to our thermostat and then we start a new cord here and then we go up same thing that cord goes and attaches to our thermostat so that is how we heat our hatchling tubs or V18s so this is a V70 rack and we started down on the bottom and loop it around in a configuration and we just keep going up and up and up now that configuration goes like this we go around come around we come over this gap here and that sits far enough back that the tubs don't come in contact with that then we go around we do it again and that gives a nice heated spot for the back of our tubs we use only one 52 foot cord to run the entire length of this rack and then it goes up to the top and it's attached to a thermostat Now the way we do our Vision BOA tubs is kind of weird. It's also only one 52 foot cord that heats the entire BOA rack. It's six tubs high and holds a bunch of adult female pythons and things but 
we start down on the bottom and we make kind of an odd configuration in the back left corner we go all the way to the top attach it to a thermostat so when you're looking at this tub that back corner back there there's a probably a 12 inch by 12 inch section that's heated just enough space for this animal to go over there coil up and get the heat that they need I unfortunately can't show you the configuration because we're all wired for sound and it's in between these other racks here but it's the best way to heat these boa tubs without any other heat sources Anyway guys, I hope this was super helpful for you. If you use vision racks or think about using vision racks, they're an awesome product. We absolutely love them and it's the only type of racks and cages that we use here at Living Legless Reptiles. If you guys have any questions at all, please shoot us a message. We'd be happy to help you. Have a good one guys.